day four of Resplendency's Days of Christmas. <laughs> and guess what? Yes. Today we're going to talk about how many things? Four things on day four. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the wise men, the star, worship, and the gifts. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. You know what I'm going to say, right? Stay tuned. <laughs> Matthew chapter 2 verses 1 to 16 Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. At that time some wise men from the eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem, in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not least among the ruling cities of Judea. For a ruler will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. Then Herod called a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child, and when you find him, come back and tell me so that I may go and worship him too. After this interview, the wise men went their way, and the star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. After the wise men were gone, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Get up, flee to Egypt with the child and his mother, the angel said. Stay there until I tell you to return, because Herod is going to search for the child and kill him. That night Joseph left for Egypt with the child and Mary, his mother, and stayed there until Herod's death was fulfilled, and stayed there until Herod's death. This fulfilled what the Lord had spoken through the prophet. I called my son out of Egypt. Herod was furious when he realized that the wise men had outwitted him. Isn't it awesome that you can learn so much from the wise men, the star, worship, and the gifts? I love this truth in God's word, ladies and gentlemen. The visitors from the East. Wow. It's so many things that I can mm -hmm. say mm -hmm. here, but, mm -hmm. you know, in what we just heard read from the very word of God in Matthew 2, verses 1 to 16, um, you know, the, the king was wondering, like, hey, what's going he on disturbed. here? He was disturbed. He really was. He was disturbed. And we're seeing about, like, these these men that they called wise, you know, you, you, you got to yeah. kind of wonder, these men... We're always looking, you know, the Bible, you know, when I think of the, the Bible says without wisdom, you know, like, like if you don't have wisdom, ask God, mm -hmm. right? So these men were seekers of the Lord. They wanted to see Jesus. They yes. knew that he was going to be born because there was, there was this, you know, it had come out now, you know, people are talking about it, about the son of God being born. And so he now wanted to, they wanted to go and, and worship him too and see him. So, you know, according to the word of God, they were, they followed the star. They followed, uh, what, what was happening in the, in, you know, in the sky. And you know, you know, when I thought about that, I thought about how, you know, we shouldn't get caught up with, you know, all like stars and all that stuff. But at the same time, would we even recognize, you know, the Bible says when Jesus comes back, every eye will see him, Correct. right? So I believe this star was so bright that it was, it was undeniable that this star was shining bright. And so 
it was it was what God used for them because remember at that time you know we're so used to having lights and and different things to lead us yes but they followed the sh- the brightest star and where that star would lead them was exactly where Jesus was that's right and and so that's what they followed but they went according to what the word of God said because the Bible was um, clear in Bethlehem. Um, in, in Micah uh, 5, verse 2. Yes. Um, if you want to reference that it, real quick. It, it loves it. This is actually in Matthew 2, yeah. verse 5 right, but, and 6. But, you know, but it references in that the, Micah 5. It, it's, the Bible's... God is so good at He says, hey, what I'm inc- instructing you to do, yes, they're following, mm-hmm. but I'm going to do it. This is to back up the Word According of God. According to the Word. I love it. He says, you know, in, 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 in this portion it says, And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least mm-hmm. um, among the rulers, the ruling cities of Judah, for a ruler who will come from you, who will be the shepherd for my people Israel. I love that, mm-hmm. how he says that in Jesus' name. Mm-hmm. He's saying, that's according to the word of God. Mm-hmm. Where I'm leading you, this is what. And yeah. this, is, this is the king's question to the wise men. Mm-hmm. And they looked what? They looked according to the word of God and to get them the answer for what they were doing mm-hmm. and how that's an encouragement for us ladies and gentlemen to the wise men and the star that we're thinking how oh, they're just following a star no actually no. it was according to the word, word of, of god. god and that's what i mm-hmm. love and now mm-hmm. regarding to the worship and gifts if you look in verses 11 and 12 this will just blow your mind i love it it says <laughs> they entered the house and saw the child with his mother mary and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chest and gave him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh, ladies and gentlemen. When it was time to leave, they returned to their own country by another route, for God had warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Now you're thinking, what are we getting from this? Ladies and gentlemen, it is so clear how, you know, it's awesome that it's, you know, they, they bow down and worship him. The question would be, are you bowing down and worshiping God? There was no denying that this was the promised one. That's this right. was this was the Messiah, the promised one that they had read about. That's when right. they came, that's why they bowed down. And you're right. Like, how do we respond when we enter the presence of the Lord? How are we right now, all of us right now, how are we responding? Are we just, you know, like just, oh, okay, I'm in his presence. No, I need this, I need this, this, you know, I need this, I need this now, God, I need this, mm-hmm. I need this. Do you just say, Lord, I worship you? Even right now, to say, Father God, I thank yes, you for waking me up today. You, God, I worship you for who you are. Mm-hmm. I love you, Lord. God, we love you. Amen. We praise yes, you, Lord. From a pure oh, heart. Oh, yes, Lord God. We yes. bless your name yes. in the name of Jesus yes. Christ. And, and this Christmas, Just worship him. And this Christmas, what is... What is a gift of what we can give him? You know, they gave, they presented right. gold, they presented frankincense, they, and each of these things represented different things. But, you know, for where we are right now and who we are right now, what is, what is the greatest thing that we can give? this christmas you may question but what can i give god god has everything he's the one who created <laughs> the world what do you give this person that has everything as in everything guess what your heart mm-hmm. what is it la corazón no. <laughs> you know what ladies and gentlemen yeah and that when, and when you heart. do that you're saying you know, I come with all my heart before you, Lord. Yes. I give you everything. Yes. So, God, I worship you in spirit and in truth, and I give you everything in Jesus' name. And, you know, the last part I want to just say here mm-hmm. real quick is that, you know, although Herod was acting as if he wanted to know Jesus and wanted to know where he was, the wise men, because they were wise and seeking and, God and seekers of the Lord, heard the Lord. They were also warned in a dream. They were also warned in a dream. We spoke about that regarding Joseph being uh, when God spoke to Joseph in a dream. Yes, you know they could have just said, "Oh, you know, yeah, let's go back to Herod." No, God warned them in a dream not to return to Herod. Why? Because God knew the intention of what was in Herod's heart. That was in day two of Resplendency's Days of Christmas. Right, day That's two. Right. Yes, when we spoke about Joseph. Yes, thank you. 
But if we, if we, the key here is when God is leading you somewhere. Thank you, Jesus. And you find Jesus. Continue to walk with Jesus all the days of your life. So we're asking you right now, as you're in his presence, right? And you're submitting yourself and you're in worship before God. And you're saying, here I am. Here's my heart. Now, when you get back up after praying and after worshiping and after this time and with the Lord, now as you go about your days, listen to the voice of God. Yes. Whether it's in a dream or on your daily basis, you're driving, you're at school, you're at work, you're in your home doing whatever you need to do. You know what? Father, I submit to you and I want to hear your voice. And there may be people you have to like, you know, that, that God is saying, I don't want you to, you know what? You have to go away from that. You have to distance yourself. Yeah. In Jesus' yep. name. Amen. And they may feel like, well, what's going on? Just like mm-hmm. Herod, Herod um, said, you know, he was furious when they realized that the wise men had outwitted him. Mm-hmm. It wasn't him. Mm-hmm. It, 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 wasn't, later, it wasn't them. It was all the Lord. Yes. And later on, we see here um, that even now, God warned Joseph in a second That's dream, right. get up and leave Egypt with the child and, you know, and Mary. Why? Because... God was protecting them because Herod was after him to kill Jesus. So God protects his people. God protects his people. And it's important we listen to the voice of God. What a loving God. What a loving God during this Christmas season, ladies and gentlemen. Father God, I thank you for all of our viewers. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you would watch over them and you would protect yes, them, God. Lord. Just as you 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 um you spoke to, to, to Joseph, God, in a dream for him to get up and flee immediately to, to Egypt, God. And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, oh yes. God, that you would speak to your people and you would encourage them and you would help them, Lord God. Not for them to 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 to, to try to seek something comfortable but lord something that will fine-tune them something that will challenge them spiritually something that will just really help them in their day-to-day walk with you god as they are lord enjoying this christmas season and they're thinking about the wise men the star just the story of all it's about the worshiping god and the giving of gifts i pray that they will say lord i can give my heart i can give my life to god and that's what I'm going to do. Amen. If I've, I said it before, but I wasn't quite 100% in, right now, let's make the decision. Father God, I give yes. you my heart. I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. Lord, I'm not coming 50%, not 80%, not 99.9%. I'm giving you my whole heart, my whole life. God, I want you. I want you, God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bow down to you. Amen. And I give you, oh Lord, my life, my heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 That is a wonderful, joyous yes. thing about these days of Christmas because Jesus is the reason for the season. That's right. Amen. Amen, Amen. ladies and gentlemen. We're leaving Christ Jesus in Christmas. That's right. Remember, the capital <laughs> C-H-R-I-S-T, small M-A-S, Christmas, the Christmas, ladies and gentlemen, yep. just let you know that we love you so very much. We pray that you would stay tuned <laughs> to Resplendency's Days of Christmas. And on behalf of Resplendency, don't forget to do this. Stand, Stand out and shine for, for Jesus, Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. We love you.